So I got a project that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, well, ever since I built this shed right here. This shed was built back in 2022. It's just a two stall. I was wanting to add on to it, but never got around to it. And that's what I'm gonna do here or attempt to. I got some extra pallets. It's about over six foot in height and seven foot deep. And so that's where it's gonna be up here. So right here, it's, it's not level. And so I got to, at where that wooden block is, I've got to cut that out and cut that down to where I can get the right height to add another addition onto the shed. So I'm going to take you along and uh, going to show you how I'm going to do this. So my plan is I'm going to mow this as low as I can. That way that I'll know what I'm working with here and then get digging that down. So here we go. Craftsman rear tine garden tiller going and see if we can't dig this out here. Let's see. It leaves a strip. All this is tilled, that's tilled, but it leaves an area that's not even tilled. That's not good when you're wanting to have all of it tilled in one pass. It does not. So I, I see the reason why people doesn't like them is because of that right there. But I'll show you how to eliminate that. Okay, there we go. It broke up real nice. It's not as wet as I thought it was going to be, but uh, didn't want to get really close. I'll do that by hand. I'm just really wanting to get this right here right now. Next step is to rake this back, see how many inches I've gone down, which I've not really went real deep. Let's see uh, what it looks like after I rake this up. So I made some progress here, and I'm going to have to make another pass over this area up here. It's still high. Kind of straighten that up. Some good topsoil right here. I'm not going to let it go to waste, but for right now, I'm just trying to get it roughed in. And so just do a little bit more with the rear tine tiller and see what we've got. go I've got it roughed in I'm gonna start taking some of that top soil that's in that corner and start piling it over here so I can uh, use it that's good top soil to, to go to waste and so I'm gonna utilize it I'm gonna bring that down right there just a few more inches and it should be uh, it should be good enough just right in there and then remove half of that corner of top soil that should be good. It's just an absolutely gorgeous morning here in southwest Virginia. That sun really feels good. It's 10 a.m. and it's currently 60 degrees. It's supposed to get 70 degrees today, but there's not a cloud in sight until they start spraying. And we'll start seeing clouds then. So here's day number two on this project. 
I dug down a few more inches there yesterday evening before it got dark. I need to go down a few more so that when I put this up on block, it'll be the right height. But I'm just about there. So I'm going to get the Craftsman rear tine tiller. We're going to go back across that a few more times and go from there. A lot of good topsoil right here. A lot of good topsoil. Now this shovel is not made for digging dirt. But I tell you what, when I'm raking it like this, it makes it go back a lot faster. Break that dirt right over in it. That's a lot of topsoil. And so it begins. There's two. There's one right there. He's not spraying yet. He's just checking out what I'm doing. There's two spraying. Then way back there. And so it begins. We'll be seeing clouds here in a few hours. See those clouds? Artificial. Alright, I didn't do much recording because it's just been too too boring, too long a video. But that wall came off of that shed right there that I built last year. And so I drug that wall from there to here in one piece. And it is heavy. So I'm going to try to uh, stand this portion of wall up and get it temporarily secure. Okay. Now, oh yeah, we're real low right here, which is, uh, which is good. So far, so good. Now let's take the rest of it down. Okay. Yeah. We'll have them raptors come on top anyway. But we'll set the other one up. The sun is setting over there in the west. Look at all them artificial clouds. So this is day number three on this shed. And I've already got the uh, top secure. All I got to do is just put the metal roof on it. So that's what I'm going to do because we got some rain coming in for the next few days. And I really don't want this to be in a muddy mess. So I'm going to try my best to get it covered. Try to get some video and some footage of it and take you along and 
yeah, get this wrapped up. This tin come off an old barn that we had, and it's got some bad spots, but uh, it's usable. I'm gonna seal those best I can so that it won't leak as bad. Well, it's March the 6th, and it looks a lot different today. But I've got the shed complete. Got it finished around dark yesterday evening, so I've got three, three stalls now. So inside the shed here, I got some solar lights that I put up so that I can see inside this little addition here got a good overhang because this is 10 foot long 10 and the shelter is only seven foot but it's good to have a place where i can still watch nature and watch it rain and really help this winter rye cover crop green up i mean that winter rye has done good i planned it back in september and october and that has really done good. Got a good root system established. And with these warm temperatures and this rain, that winter rye is really going to start growing. In the next few weeks, this should look a lot different. But you can see things are greening up here. And the trees are budding out. Got some winter rye down there where the field corn was. Yeah, a change is coming. Change is on the way. But I appreciate you watching the video and tuning in. Until next time, take care.